Today I'm telling you why you don't have to spend thousands of dollars on gear to take amazing photos. Stick around and I'll suggest two cameras that don't break the bank. Hey there, welcome to the channel. If you're new here, my name's Chris. I recently quit my corporate job to pursue photography full time. I'm teaching you photography and how to start a creative business. Today we're talking about why gear isn't the most important thing in photography. I'll suggest two beginner cameras and alternatives you can use to take great photos. The most common question I get asked on Instagram is what camera do I use? There are a lot of awesome cameras out there right now and it's hard to make a wrong choice. I've been using the Sony a7 III for the past two years and it's been amazing to me. But it's probably not the camera you want if you're just starting out. Let me explain. The truth is gear is just the tools you use to capture your vision. To capture great photos, you have to know the principles behind photography, light, and composition. Having that knowledge and a creative vision is really most of the battle. The camera is just the last step that allows you to capture that vision. You've probably seen the videos titled 500 versus $5,000 camera in the hands of a pro versus a beginner. In these videos, they give an expensive camera to a beginner and a cheap camera to a pro. Who do you think captures the better photos? In all of these videos, the pro wins. Even though they're using a $500 camera, they know the principles behind photography, light, and composition, and they're able to capture beautiful photos. So you might be wondering, why do all these expensive cameras exist if they don't matter? Well, they make your life easier with all the bells and whistles they offer. A lot of the time, you'll still get to the same destination using that cheaper camera. Think about it like this. It's kind of like taking the bus versus a car to get somewhere. With the bus, it might take a little longer and you might have to walk a bit, but you're still gonna get to your destination. But with a car, you can get there really fast, but it is more expensive. Unless you're in that 1% that actually needs those features, save your money. Let's take a second to talk about diminishing returns. You're looking at cameras and find one that has decent reviews for a thousand bucks. Now this camera is gonna be a lot better than your cell phone. It gives you a lot more settings to play around with and it'll let you capture pretty much any scene you can think of. While you're researching, you also find a camera for $2,000. Now this camera is double the cost of the thousand dollar one, but are you getting double the features? No. You're only getting a few extra features for $1,000 more. That $2,000 camera has better low light performance and faster autofocus, but you don't really need that if you're just starting out. That camera exists for a very small percentage of photographers that really need those features. Instead of spending the extra $1,000 on that camera, take that money and invest it in a trip somewhere. Spend that money on an experience that'll make you fall in love with photography and teach you along the way. Truth be told, your phone takes great photos too. This is especially true if you bought your phone in the past few years. Phone cameras have gotten really good. Your phone's an amazing tool to learn on. By learning some of the basic principles of photography, composition, and light, your phone's gonna be able to take better photos than an expensive camera in the wrong hands. Okay, now you've watched this far, I've talked enough about why as a beginner you don't need an expensive camera. Let me give you some recommendations for great beginner cameras that don't break the bank. Both of these are gonna be linked down below. At the $500 price point, the Sony a6000 takes the cake. This camera's a few years old now, but still does an amazing job at capturing photos. This camera's got a 24 megapixel sensor and great autofocus. It's gonna let you take better photos than you can with your phone, and you're gonna be able to learn all the manual settings such as aperture, ISO, and shutter speed using this camera. It's a mirrorless camera, so it's gonna be pretty compact to carry around with you as well. For an extra $150, you get the kit lens that comes with it. This lens will be more than enough to learn on, especially as a beginner. If this is your first camera, you'll be able to learn if you're actually interested in photography. The good thing about cameras, they hold their value extremely well. When you want to upgrade, you can just sell this camera back and get most of your money back. Now, if you've got a bit more money, I strongly recommend the Fuji X-T3. At $1,000, this camera can't be beat. What I really love about this camera is that it has all the manual settings on dials outside on the camera body. This is a really nice feature to have if you're just starting out. Fuji makes really solid cameras. They've got good low light performance and fast autofocus. Another great thing about Fuji is all their lenses are really inexpensive. If you're just starting out, strongly recommend you get the 35 millimeter equivalent they offer. The F2 version is around 200 bucks and it's a great lens to start off with. I've also linked this camera below. It retails for $1,500, but it's almost always on sale for $1,000. If for some reason it isn't on sale in the link I provided, other camera websites should have it on sale. Now, if you're on the fence, if you still want to buy a camera, I would just stick with your phone. Like I said, phone cameras are great. There's a lot of times where I'll just whip out my phone, take a photo, and edit it, and it's really hard to distinguish that from my Sony camera sometimes. If you've watched this far, thank you. 
I really appreciate you. And if you can take a second to like this video and subscribe, that would mean a lot to me. I want to say a special thank you to all my new subscribers. Welcome to the channel. I'm excited to continue growing this channel and teaching you about photography and starting a creative business. I'll see you in the next one.